<laughs> hey, good morning, everybody. Woo! This is our time. This is exciting. Um, I'm just beyond humbled and honored you to allow me to speak. Thank you for uh, the graciousness of your time, uh, Carol, uh, Dana, wherever Dan Dana, thank you. Every uh, partner in tourism is significant. Uh, um, and I want to kind of, the reason I asked for that video to be played is not, I was not trying to be funny and say it's going to take a miracle to get through the house. Um, um, let me tell you why I think that video is important to me. Who's, who's seen the movie, Miracle? Uh, probably a lot of people in the movies. You may have experienced it. You may have been uh, in the 1980s, maybe experienced it when America had that incredible um, run to win the gold medal. Why that video, why that movie speaks to me is simply this. Florida, we're awesome. Uh, tourism, number one contributor to our economic foundation at the state, year in and year out. But I bet, absolutely, number one. But I bet if I went around this room and we had representation from all over the state, uh, maybe most of our 67 counties could be here, I don't know. But if I went to every county in Florida and told you, asked you to tell me, tell me something significant about your county. You might start off by saying, oh man, we have this great ecotourism, we have these parks, we have these beaches, we have all these phenomenal things. And the truth of the matter is you do. Every county is unique, and it should be. That's why you live there, it's why you chose to live there, it's who you are, it's how you raise your family, it's the culture, it's the climate, it's the sand, it's the soil you choose to raise your family, plant your business, etc. That's what makes it awesome to you. But then you look to your neighbor in county and you find out, you know what, there's some cool stuff about them too. Maybe I don't live there and that's okay. It doesn't min deminimize or minimize them. It's just the choice that they made. And one thing that I've recognized and what I love about this video and movie is that that was a significant moment in our nation's history. And a coach that said on the outside, we're going to look at 20 young men in this case, each of them that brought something significant to the table. Each of them were from competing schools. You saw a part of the video clips. They're like, oh, from that school. And they're like, hey, they went at it. They locked arms, etc." But it took a coach to come alongside and said, wait a second. There's something significant about you 20. And when you come together, we can do great things. And for us as a nation, we got to be cheerleaders for a hockey team in this world to sit and celebrate when Russians have won everything. And we said, wait a second. We're going to unite and we're going to fight together as one. And what took place is a moment in history when 20 individuals of competing teams got together to play for the United States. They said the name on the front is more important than the name on the back. History was made because they focused on what united them. And that's the beautiful part about tourism in Florida is we have all 67 counties that bring something significant to the table. And we can sit there and we can beat each other up. We are not each other's competition. What makes us great is when we unify under a unified brand that said, as for us in our state, we stand for something. And I believe the significance of our state, the significance of tourism in our state is not supposed to be experienced one time a year or one time in a decade. It's meant to be experienced every single day. And as I said last night, when you come into the gates of this state, when your guests come into the gates of your city, they should experience something they should experience anywhere else. So when they go back home, they say, I have no idea what's going on in that place but I'm getting back there as quick as I can. You know, last year I had this phrase, I have no idea how the inspiration came from me. Um, sometimes I just pray and let loose, and so forgive me. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, and I said it again last night, but the, the sand in your soul um, should mean something unique to each one of us. Because sand in our shoes is a physical thing we can feel and experience, and you hope when someone gets home, they dip, dip their shoe out and Maybe a few uh, pieces of sand fall out, and it's a great reminder. But sand in your soul, that becomes an experiential factor that you cannot rob, deny, or steal. Because I firmly believe that one encounter, one experience with you, can be the catalyst and the game changer for someone's life forever. Because the truth of the matter is, when they come through your doorpost, through your gates, through your city, you have no idea what they just came to you with. But the front door unconditional aspect of hospitality that this industry brings to them. You know, I believe there's a biblical principle that says to lead, you must do what? Serve. And it says those who serve shall lead. So why is it any surprise that in this state, the number one industry is the industry that serves? Why is it a surprise? 
It's a principle that we can hold fast to. If you serve, you're going to lead. This state sees it. It's in the fruit. It's in the manifestation of what we offer. But the challenge is for each one of us and why tourism and hospitality is so important is because hospitality doesn't mean it's how you treat someone from Nashville, Knoxville, Atlanta, Birmingham, wherever. Hospitality is how we treat each other. And how you shift the culture and climate and atmosphere of a state is when a team united comes together not to celebrate a victory once in a lifetime, but every day celebrating a victory of changing the hearts and minds of someone's life. See, Visit Florida and the tourism industry to me um, is like the linchpin. And while I looked at that word, and forgive me, in my age, graying hair and balding hair, I got to wear readers, but I looked up the definition of linchpin, and it's the fastener used to prevent a wheel or other part from sliding off the axle upon which it's riding. It's the fastener. And I believe that's the significant part about why we need a unified approach to hospitality in our state. It doesn't minimize who we are at home. We, in fact, it celebrates that. It honors that. We should absolutely cheer for our neighbors to our east, west, north, and south because as one person travels, diverses, comes there, everyone around it celebrates. But the fastener, I believe, that holds it all together is a unified team approach, which is why I humbly support and honor the work of Dana and Visit Florida, FRLA, and the hospitality industry because this industry, among most, knows how to love, honor, and serve absolutely the best. I'm thankful you allowed me just to be a co-laborer with you. Uh, my job is to hopefully graft in and be a teammate as best that I can to help honor you, give thanks for you, and serve you. Um, I appreciate y'all allowing me to have a few minutes to speak today. Um, I believe uh, our better days are ahead, and that's the, the, the testimony I'll hold fast to. Uh, but anyway, it's a great day for y'all. I know you have a lot of fun things planned in store for you. Uh, I know Tallahassee, you're, you rolled up, you're on the scene. So I encourage you to take advantage of your moments, um, whether it's here or a couple blocks away. Um, please feel free to call on me any way that I can serve and honor you the best. But thanks so much for giving me a few minutes of your time. I celebrate you and I celebrate the hospitality industry. Thanks a lot.